students i am dr monica khetarpal i am associate professor of physics in government dungar college bikaner today i will discuss london equations these london equations are important in superconductivity in my previous lecture i have derived two london equations first london equation is variation of current density js with respect to time it has a value ns e square capital e upon m capital e being the electric field ns is the density of superconducting electrons the second expression is curl js is equal to minus ns e square b upon m b is the strength of magnetic field these two expressions they are derived by using a two fluid model in which we have assumed that superconductor comprises of two type of electrons superconducting electrons and normal electrons if the density of superconducting electrons is ns and the density of normal electrons is nn these two parameters this are dependent on temperature this graph shows the te temperature variation with density graph is plotted in the temperature range 0 to tc when temperature is 0 here we can see that density of superconducting electrons is maximum and at t equal to 0 nn is 0 and as we reach up to tc it can be shown from the figure that ns is 0 and all electrons are all electrons are normal electrons that means material has been changed from superconductor to normal in the intermediate region both electrons are contributing but as we know that for superconductors electrical resistivity is zero hence most of the electrical current will be because of superconducting electrons hence we have used the density of superconducting electrons only we have ignored normal electrons now these equations are further modified for this modification i am using maxwell fourth equation maxwell fourth equation is curl b is equal to mu 0 js plus del d by del t here del d by del t this denotes the variation of displacement current d with respect to time i am assuming that fields are varying slowly with time so this term can be neglected so del d by del t equal to 0 so we are only left with the term mu 0 js equation becomes curl b is equal to mu 0 js now i am taking curl of this expression taking curl on both sides this side will become left hand side will become curl curl b and right hand side will become mu 0 curl js now using the identity of curl curl vector i got curl curl b as grad dive b minus del 2 b is equal to mu 0 curl js now since divergence of b is 0 first term in this expression will be equal to 0 so this equation becomes minus del to b this is equal to mu 0 curl js from here i can get the value of curl js to be equal to minus del to b upon mu 0 i have already derived curl js from london expression this was second london equation this shows curl js to be equal to minus ns 
e square b upon m. So first, uh, using the London equation, I have derived curl J's. And secondly, using the fourth Maxwell expression, I have obtained curl J's. Now, equating both these curl J's, I got the value of del 2 B2 B equal to mu 0 ns e square upon m b. Substituting this value, which is a constant factor as mu 0 is constant, density of superconducting electrons at a particular temperature will be constant, e square and m are constant. I have put on this value to be 1 upon lambda L square. I got the second order differential equation del 2 B is equal to 1 upon lambda L square B. This lambda L which is constant is termed as London penetration depth. Now what this equation means in order to find out its complete solution I am considering a superconductor which is occupying a space on the positive x axis. This I am showing this by diagram. Here we have taken a superconductor which is on the positive side of x axis. Now on the surface of this superconductor parallel to the boundary I am applying a magnetic field of value V0. According to this expression, which is a second order differential expression, solution must be Bx is equal to B0 exponential minus x upon lambda. This is the solution of second order differential expression. Here B0 is the amplitude which I have applied on the which I have applied on the surface of the specimen. This shows that magnetic field decays exponentially over the surface thickness which has a value equal to penetration depth. Penetration depth being the lambda L. This lambda L has a very small value of the order of 10 raised to power minus 6 to 10 raised to power minus 5 centimeter. Hence, because of the small value, lambda L in this expression has a very small value. Bx is in almost all superconductors is almost zero. But this exponential decay, which is shown here, it, it is showing that it is exponentially decaying from maximum at the surface to the interior of the specimen it is exponentially decaying as the value of x increasing but according to Misner effect v must be completely zero inside the superconductor these London equations they do not replace the Maxwell equation but they are the additional conditions which a superconductor must follow this penetration depth depends upon temperature. As T approaches Tc, we know that the material will become superconductor at Tc. Hence, Ns will approach to zero. And at low temperatures, it has been found that this London penetration depth is independent of temperature and it has a constant value equal to lambda 0. Lambda 0 is dependent on the material. Magnetic field variation with distance is shown in this graph. Lambda variation with temperature can be expressed by a relation of the form lambda upon lambda 0 this equal to 1 minus t upon tc raised to the power 4 this whole to the power minus half we know that 
density of superconducting electrons is also dependent on temperature the density of superconducting electrons with temperature depends according to the relation ns equal to n0 1 minus t upon tc raised to the power 4 here tc is the critical temperature n0 is the density of electrons at absolute zero and similarly here lambda zero is the london penetration depth at absolute zero now these two expressions are used to find out the value at two different temperature range i am finding the value of concentration ns at t equal to zero and at t equal to tc similarly i am finding out the london penetration depth at two values t equal to zero and t equal to tc at t equal to zero kelvin at t equal to zero kelvin putting t to be zero ns will be equal to n zero this means at absolute zero the total concentration will be n zero being the total concentration at t equal to zero the total concentration will be equal to the density of superconducting electrons now i am using t equal to zero in the london penetration depth formula i got lambda to be equal to lambda zero now taking the range t at the temperature t equal to tc putting t equal to tc in this ns will be equal to zero that means at t equal to tc density of superconducting electrons is zero hence all electrons will be normal that means material has transformed from superconductor to normal now i am putting t equal to tc in this expression substituting the value of t to be equal to tc i got it to be equal to infinity that means at t equal to tc london penetration depth is infinite this means that magnetic field penetrates totally inside the superconductor which is which is the, which means that material has transformed to a normal material and by placing a normal material in a magnetic field magnetic field lines will penetrate inside as well as outside misner effect is followed inside the misner effect is followed for a superconductor only that means misner effect states that for superconductor b must be equal to zero these are two basic london equations which were derived to determine the density of superconducting electrons when they are placed in magnetic field thank you for watching